I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We have an interesting trigonometric equation to solve within a given domain. The question here is, solve the equation cos 2x equals to cos x, where x is between minus 360 degrees to 360 degrees. Well, to solve this equation, you will need the formula, which is a double angle formula. Cos 2x can be written as 2 cos square x minus 1, correct? So, this formula will be required. So, once you write it in this form, you have a quadratic equation in cos x, which can be factored and solved. So, that is the approach which we are going to follow. So, the equation, which is cos 2x equals to cos x, can be written as, cos 2x, we will write this as 2 cos square x, minus 1 and we'll bring cos x to the left side so we get minus cos x equals to 0. Now let's rewrite this we have 2 cos square x minus cos x minus 1 equals to 0. To factor we are looking for product of minus 2 sum of minus 1 so we could split this uh, cos x as uh, uh, 2 cos square x minus 2 cos x plus cos x minus 1 equals to 0. Taking 2 cos x common in the first two terms we get cos x minus 1. Here we can take a plus we just have a term cos x minus 1. So 1 is a common factor here. Now cos x minus 1 becomes a common factor giving us 2 cos x plus 1 as the other factor. Now that results in two, two sets of solutions. One is cos x equals to 1 and the other one is cos x equals to minus half. Right? So that those will be the solutions. Now let's look into the cosine wave and figure out what should be the solutions, right? So let me just uh, sketch a cosine wave here. So let me just uh, now, as you know, the cosine wave starts with the maximum, right? So we are looking into the domain, which is from minus three sixty to plus three sixty. So let's. Uh, uh, let's say that is your axis, right? So our domain is from minus 360 degrees to one full cycle, which is 360 degrees, correct? Now in this domain, we are looking for values which are 1. So clearly for cos x equals to 1, we have 3 values, right? So that gives you x equals to 360 degrees. 0 degrees and sorry visual minus and we'll write plus 360 degrees now for what values do you get minus half minus half this is like minus 1 this is plus 1 so somewhere here right so for minus half we have these values so we have four values for minus half to get these values, we can actually look into our triangle, which is 30, 60, 90 triangle, right? For 60 degrees. We get cos as half. Now, negative value means that you're looking for the solutions in the quadrants, which are quadrant 3 and quadrant 4, right? So, you know the rule. All are positive here. Sine, tan, and cosine. So, so these are the two quadrants. So, the angles which we are looking for are these two. Okay? So, where the acute angle is 60. So, this angle here will be 120. So, we have for this, x value is 120. And the other value is 
this which is 180 plus 60 which is 240 and also if you go from this side right so we have plus and minus so both values okay so these are all the solutions which will satisfy this equation within the domain given to me right so our answer here is x equals to plus minus 360 degrees plus minus 240 degrees plus minus 120 degrees and 0 degrees clear so that is the method of solving this i hope all the concepts are absolutely clear now for this formula you can look into the link provided where we have shown the derivation this can be derived from the double angle formula can be derived from cos a plus b which is equals to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b right so if you equate a equals to b equals to x you will get cos 2x correct and from there you could derive this particular formula it's a standard formula which can always be used so i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best